Hi, I'm Claire and it is Christmas Day. So I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas if you are celebrating and whether you're celebrating or not, I want to wish you a happy Tuesday and a happy first day in this here festive mini-series which I am calling the 12 Days of Claremus. That's right, we're going to do a video every day from Christmas Day until the 5th of January because I wanted to do something a little bit special and a little bit festive on the channel. And because I had a lot of end of year 2018 and beginning of year 2019 videos that I wanted to make. I'm really excited to do this, so without further ado, let's get into today's video, which is going to be the ultimate Christmas tag, which was created by Sam over at Sam's Nonsense. I will, of course, leave a link to her channel in the description box below. If you're not already subscribed to her, if you don't already watch her booktube videos, you should definitely go and do that, especially if you are into Christmas, because she is the Christmasiest. Question one is what are your Christmas traditions or routines? Now I don't really have many Christmas traditions in so far as the way that I do Christmas now is pretty different to what we used to do when I was a kid. For the past few years though, my routine has been to visit my family in France the week before Christmas because it's often difficult for me and my parents, my brother, my half siblings, their children, for everyone to get together on the actual day of Christmas since we've all now got like more than one family group that we want to celebrate Christmas with that usually doesn't work. So I go to France before Christmas, we do a little Christmas meal and exchange presents, but nothing like over the top Christmassy because my family's not really into it. And then I travel back to London just before Christmas and I spend Christmas day with family here on John's side. Oh, and another new tradition that John and I started doing a few years back is for the two of us to go and get a nice meal in a restaurant somewhere near us for Boxing Day lunchtime. Just like something nice just for the two of us. Question two is what is your favorite Christmas book or one that you want to read? Now I don't really have a favorite Christmas book, although I do have several favorite Christmas themed fanfics or holiday themed fanfics that I like to reread around the holidays. They are very cute and comforting. Question three is what is your first Christmas memory? Now this is going to sound very, very silly. <laughs> When I was a kid, we had this tradition that the youngest person in the family, which you know, for our immediate family, that was always me, that should be the person to distribute the presents around to everyone. So I'd pick up a present, read the label and announce who it was to and who it was from. And that person would open their present and then we'd move on to the next present. Naturally, Tiny Claire did all of this in a Santa costume with a cotton wool beard while everyone played along pretending not to notice she wasn't a real Santa because I was extra as a child. And I have this vivid memory of waiting in the hallway at my uncle's old house with the lights off being all quiet in my tiny Santa costume, preparing to knock on the living room door after dinner on Christmas Eve to surprise everybody and then distribute out presents. <laughs> Question four is the favorite gift that you ever received. And actually I think that would have been the same year as that memory I just mentioned because it was definitely at my uncle's house. I must have been six or seven, something like that, and we got our first cat, Misu. My uncle had been fostering some kittens for a few months and I guess he talked my parents into taking one in and the timing worked out for us to take him at Christmas. So obviously my parents didn't say anything to my brother or me about it. And when all the presents were given out, my mom sneaked out of the room and then came back with Misu, cradled in a little bundle of wrapping paper so that we didn't see him straight away. And she put this little parcel on my lap and there was a cat and I had not expected it at all. And I was so happy and he was such a lovely cat as well. It's just a really outstanding memory of like a cat in the wrapping paper and I had a cat. Question five is your go-to genre to read at Christmas. Now I love a good comfort read around this time of year. That's why I love to read fanfic and I love to read romance, especially when I already know the author and I already know that I like their stuff, especially if the story itself is holiday themed. Like that's definitely the kind of things that I want to read around Christmas. Rereading anything is super comforting to me. Like I already know that I love the thing. Maybe it's winter themed, it's magical themed. That is kind of the vibe that I want. 
every time that I've read the Little House books, it was around the holidays. And I have to say, right now, I kind of fancy a big Dinah Wynne Jones binge. That's kind of the mood that I'm in. Question six is, is there a holiday tradition that you've never tried but you want to? I don't know if I've never tried it but I want to is the right way of describing it, but there is apparently this Icelandic tradition that's absolutely lovely where basically everyone gives books to each other on Christmas Eve and then they can spend the night reading and that sounds utterly delightful to me, but it's a bit more of like, I wish this was something that happened in England as opposed to like, I personally want to try it. Question seven, is Christmas Eve or Christmas Day and for me it's a little bit of both actually. We've got a Christmas tree at home with some presents just for the two of us, me and John, and usually we open those on Christmas Eve in the evening, well at night. We're both night owls so we're pretty much always still up at midnight, so midnight on Christmas Eve once it's technically actually gone into Christmas Day, that's when we usually sit down and open our presents and our stockings and give Tabby some of her cat stocking Christmas treats. But then we also go and see family on Christmas Day and have a real nice meal with turkey and all the trimmings and all of that. And of course, since that's a bigger group of people, there are more presents being open at that point. So a little bit of Christmas Eve and a little bit of Christmas Day. You've just got to make it last as long as you can, as far as I'm concerned. Question eight is what is your favorite Christmas ornament? And my favorite Christmas ornament is this lovely wooden one that my best friend Jen gave me a few years back. Her family have this lovely tradition of bringing back a Christmas ornament every time that they take a trip and I must have told her that I thought it was such a nice thing to do because she got this one for me, I want to say from a Christmas market in Germany when she went there on holiday one time and I seriously love this ornament. I especially love like how intricate it is and the fact that it's an ornament with a picture of some more ornaments in it. Ornament inception, I guess. Question nine is your favorite Christmas movie and your least favorite Christmas movie. Now my favorite Christmas movie, obviously this one has to go to A Muppet Christmas Carol. There is no contest there. It's just a classic. For my least favorite, I'm gonna have to say Love Actually. And I'm mostly saying this because I loved that film so much when it first came out and I saw it in theaters. But because it's a bit of a Christmas classic, I have seen it over and over again throughout the years and my opinion of it has changed pretty drastically. So, so many of the storylines are really cringy, so many of the characters are really unpleasant, really unkind, they behave in fairly intolerable ways and the film tends to frame those characters as the sad good guys that just need to catch a break and the people that they're screwing over are kind of seen as the bad guys or not given much of a voice in the narrative and that just really bugs me because of how much I loved it when it first came out, how positive I used to feel about it and now it just makes me angry, you know, that's, that's just sad. Question 10 is online shopping or in store and for me definitely online, mostly because I'm not very good at in store shopping. Even if I've got a list I tend to panic a little bit as soon as I'm a bit late and I forget everything that I need to get. Question 11 is your favorite and least favorite Christmas songs. And all right, maybe I'm a little bit basic, but I really love Fairy Tale of New York. For all of its flaws, I love that song. Speaking of, do you know what rhymes real well with maggot? It's braggart. Braggart is an excellent word. My least favorite Christmas song has to be Baby It's Cold Outside. The lyrics are really rapey, it makes me very uncomfortable, it basically kind of kills the holiday cheer for me. If I hear it, I get very irritated and the incredible amount of discourse that we have to wait through every year about it, about whether or not the lyrics are actually creepy in the historical context, about whether the woman in the historical context of the song has agency or not. like. That does not help in the slightest. It just makes me never want to hear that song again. Question 12 is your favorite Christmas flavor. And this one is so, so hard because there are so many. Is chocolate orange a Christmas flavor? I love that. So that's probably my favorite, but that is kind of my favorite year round. I also love gingerbread and candy cane and mulled drinks, especially mulled cider is delicious. I've mostly said sweet things, but I also love savory Christmas food, like turkey with bacon and stuffing. That's just a great flavor combination. I want that as often as possible. 
and I've already listed like five flavors so I'm going to stop uh, but that's it this was the ultimate Christmas tag I hope you enjoyed this video and that you all had a lovely day today let me know in the comments down below what you got up to today whether or not it was celebrating Christmas and I will see you tomorrow for another video in the 12 days of Claremus if you'd like to see more from me, you can check out a previous video on screen right now. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button that's on my face for a new video from me every week. I've been Claire, thanks so much for watching, and see you soon.